Today I'm going to show you how I crafted my Halloween costume. I decided to go as Medusa and it was clear that a snake crown and Greek jewelry are the necessary it pieces. I therefore still needed a few things, so I went online shopping. Here is a little haul. I bought these bracelets. They were a six piece set, unfortunately I don't need so many. But no worries, I will find a use for them or give them away. I also bought this necklace and the most important thing, rubber snakes. Then I was ready to craft. I started with the crown by bending wires in form, shaping it around my head, adding more and more meanders. If you're making your own, make sure to make the frame a tiny bit bigger than you actually need it, because in the next step, with paper match, the crown gets a little bit bigger. Mine is a bit uncomfortable because I didn't think of that. I have to say that I don't like to wear full body costumes, not because they don't look good, but because they aren't practical for Halloween parties. At least not the ones I go to, because they're normally outside, you get cold, you have to wear a jacket over the whole outfit anyways. So I rather wear normal comfortable clothes and make the outfit work through accessories or it pieces. I strengthened some part of my crown with aluminium foil and then covered everything with paper match. I loosely sticked the snakes in place and when I was happy with it, I hot glued it. I touched a lot of hot glue and I was very proud to only got one little burn blister. Then I spray painted the crown in a mix of silver and gold. I also noticed this little mistake later. I placed one of the snakes right where my ear belongs, so I had to cut that piece off again. Next, I also spray painted the jewelry to make the color perfectly fit the crown. Mm -hmm. 
The last crafting part again involved spray painting. I used some high heels I once bought and never wore because I never have any occasion to wear them, but now there's finally one. I hot glued the spare rubber snakes onto the shoes, which gives them the final touch. I love how they look and it was so easy. So here are my final Medusa costume accessories. I am very happy with how they turned out. Of course I also put them on as a previous try on and to show you guys some close ups. But because I don't want to show too much of me, here is a quick speedy sketch how I decided to wear it so that you guys can imagine a little bit better. If you're actually inspired to go as Medusa, you definitely need to check out some of the amazing makeup ideas you can find online, for example with latex skin. That looks so cool and a spooky makeup can change the whole vibe of the costume. And of course you can also do a full body costume. Just be creative, be inspired and make your own.